Hello party people, internet friends, um, all the catchy greetings that um, are on YouTube right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's some breaking news, there's some couple of articles here, um, the Daily Mail is saying that um, there is... NASA admits it can't afford a manned mission to Mars. Uh, days after Mike Pence pledges to put American boots on the red planet. So anyone from my generation um, right Manil any Manil millennials anyone in Bitcoin anyone that watches YouTube are going to be extremely pissed off all right uh, the Korean Peninsula could go to hell in a handbasket for all I care none of us care about anything going to Mars that's a hot butt issue right button issue right I mean that's like this is like pushing the red button this is gonna get some people very upset so NASA's claiming I even found another article um, about NASA doesn't have the money to land humans on Mars um, so Elon Musk could land on Mars and have a colony for a dollar. And uh, there's going to be a firm in England that's going to land on Mars and have a colony on Mars. Um, I was l listening to a YouTube video last night and the soil of Mars is rocket fuel perchlorates. Um, there are, the soil of Mars can be used for sand casting. If you have a, a foundry and you pour molten metal into that soil that's shaped like a beam or something like that, that soil could be like sand casting soil for metal. Um, I have videos where, so, all the objects that people have found, right, on Mars, let's leave that, like, on the back burner. So, I have a video where I found fungus on Mars, um, Asia coda, mycota, and basidiocarps two different kinds of fungus fungus and extremophile bacteria are probably all over Mars um, if you just have the 1976 Viking lander information you would say to yourself oh this is positive for life um, you know, uh, NAS. I mean, I'm, millennials are so frustrated with their iPhones. They'll probably vote to eliminate NASA and the CIA, and and the NSA, and just make a. We have a new space agency that I'm sure we can get the money from the CIA and put it right into the space agency. Get rid of the CIA. Get rid of. NASA and get rid of the NSA um, and put it into the Mars mission, right? I mean, there's a lot of money there. There's some, um, NASA has some uh, offices in Nevada. I'm sure there's some coffee shops in Nevada that some of these executives could work as baristas in Nevada. You know, um, we can get some extra money that way. Um, I mean, come on, Mars. You know, 
um, the millennials want to go to Mars. Uh, the celebrities are going to be there. You know, they're going to fund directly tickets to Mars. Elon Musk, the Virgin Galactic Airways are going to go on Mars, and NASA is going to be there uh, with their, uh, you know, CAD machines still drawing up plans. Um, you know, and then. Um, the nearest star has a habitable planet, Alpha Centauri, which is a three-star system. Um, it's probably habitable planets on the nearest star, right? I mean, some of these private enterprises, the budget for some science fiction movies is enough to go to Mars and back. There's going to be some films made in Hollywood that are going to have the budget to, to build and fund, you know, a movie set on Mars, have the whole crew there, have it catered, and go there with, you know, homemade uh, spacesuits to film a, a science fiction movie or a science fiction television show, and then, you know, the NASA's going to be there still, you know, uh, reviewing their computer tapes or something like that. I mean, the millennials are going to go to Mars, with or without NASA.